Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal covers or vlogs. I am actually going to be talking about a tragic event that occurred yesterday on April 15th, 2013, and it happened in Boston, so I'll just start off. You know, um, if you follow me on Twitter or if you like my Facebook page, you guys will know that I reside in an area that is really close to the city of Boston. You know, I go into the city once a week, and I've grown up here all my life, so it's really tragic to know about the happenings that occurred yesterday. Um, so a very popular event is the Boston Marathon. It occurs once a year and runners from all over the world from different countries and people obviously in America and in Boston um, train all year to come and run in this marathon and it's a big event. Lots of families go together. You know, um, it's really interesting to see like the hard work of people who have exercised all year long to participate in this marathon and like see that hard work being paid off. And it's, this was an especially important marathon because it was in honor of the Sandy Hook shooting that happened a couple months ago, which was extremely, um, you know, it really hurt the hearts of many people. And uh, it was in honor of that, but I am shocked to say that there were two bombs that went off at the finish line of the marathon. Um, there's at least three people who have lost their life and more than a hundred people who have been severely injured. Um, I actually didn't really know about it until I was on Twitter and I was like kind of keeping up to date with the marathon and I saw all these hashtags about pray for Boston and I could only think of the worst things because I had remembered this hashtag trend going on for Newtown a couple months ago and it said pray for Newtown so I immediately went on and you know searched about the hottest news and the latest news on Boston and I saw what happened, the bombs and how the FBI and police were actually still dismantling bombs around the city. I was shocked especially because the finish line is near the area of Boston that I was in um, on Saturday so I was at the almost exact same spot as the bombing and it really shocks me that something so close and nearby could have happened and it's just by chance that I wasn't there I was actually planning on going with my family because I had never actually been present at the marathon and I thought it'd be cool to be at the finish line because now I was so familiar with the Boston area and it's such a tragic event. Um, I'm keeping all those affected by the bombings and just everyone in the city of Boston. I'm keeping them in my prayers. Um, I hope that everyone else can also keep them in your prayers as well. You know, I think it's a really tragic event that has happened and it really pertains to me as well because I live so close nearby and I know people that were at that place and thankfully my family members and my friends, my loved ones haven't been affected by it directly. They haven't been hurt, they're all okay. But for those who weren't so fortunate, um, I really send my love and my hope out to them. And I wanna show them that there's people who really care about them close by and that they have shoulders to lean on and that will always be there to help them out. And yeah, so just pray for Boston, please, everyone. And I also really appreciate the love and support I've been receiving through Twitter and Facebook. You know, I know a lot of you guys were, so, were concerned about me. And um, I'm really appreciative and grateful for that. Um, I'm okay, as you can see, but I'm still really shocked about the things that have happened this past week or yesterday. Um, so, and I also want to talk about something that I saw that was really disturbing. Um, the Westboro Baptist Church has tweeted some, um, very disturbing things, actually. Um, if you haven't heard about it, uh, they're really, they're an extremist church, basically. And they were talking about how they said Boston deserved the bombing because we are advocates of same-sex marriage. And... I, when I saw that, I was extremely mad, and I thought it was completely inappropriate. I think marriage between two people who love each other, regardless of their sex, is up to them. We, we should be completely supportive on their choices and their sexuality. It's not our place to say that they're not allowed to. And I understand that there are like places that don't allow that, but especially in the state of Massachusetts, in Boston, we are strong advocates, you know, 
we think it's perfectly okay, like, if you're gay or lesbian, that's up to you. Same-sex marriage, you know, we're totally pro for that. And it really offends me that um, the, this church would say such things that the Bostonians deserved it and that it was God's punishment to us because we support same-sex same -sex marriage. So um, I just hope that someday we can live in a world where people won't be so judgmental and in a world that we can all love each other regardless of our sexuality, what we look like, or, you know, any of those things. I don't think it should be something that really determines who we are as people. So on that note, I just hope that Everyone is okay no matter where they are. I know there are totally like big issues around the world um, other than here in Boston. But don't forget to keep Boston in your prayers. Thank you so much for keeping me in mind and you know tweeting me and writing me Facebook notes and everything. I totally check them all. I appreciate your love and support. And yeah, I just hope eventually we'll be able to live in a world with no such judgment. And keep that light of hope in your heart always because I think one day we'll be able to achieve such a world. So yeah, thanks for listening guys and just keep up to date with me. Just follow me on Twitter and Facebook and I hope to see you guys soon. Alright, thanks. Bye.